Welcome back to an episode of Victoria 2. I did it. I finally did it. You guys have been waiting for me to say that. I did it. I finally said Victoria 2. Sorry guys, this is EU4, not Victoria 2. We are playing the Mighty Nation of Sweden, or as I like to call them, the Legacy of the Vikings. We are doing quite well in our endeavors. Um, go start patrol. No, protect our trade in... In the Baltic Sea. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, basically we're just kind of chilling out from our good war with, with them. Um, did I lose my alliance with them? No, no, we're still aligned with them. I just think that Lithuanian called in other people, and now they're just like taking over a lot. So yeah, for, with us though, we took over a good moderate amount of chunk. I mean, we didn't take over the utmost all amount of chunk that we could have. And granted, I could have done a lot more, but core claims make core. Let's make this. Let's make this a core province before we do anything, and we can start dealing with the rest. Okay. Yeah, my troops are in foreign territory. Where are my troops? There they are. Okay. Well, they should be getting back to their territory and. Once they get back, we're going to completely and utterly let our manpower reserves heal. And what we're going to be doing is, basically, we're going to be building a couple stuff. Stuff. But first of all, we're going to build some more national manpower recruitment places. Right there. Another marketplace. Right about here. And, by the way, I better be checking out the trade nodes. Because the trade nodes are quite important. Yeah, we're, de we're basically just trying to make sure we dominate the Baltic Sea uh, exchange. Because, I mean, we basically, that's, I mean, look at that. We basically own most of the Baltic trade. We just, once we conquer all of this, this area, we'll basically own everything. Right now, though, we need those guys as our alliance members. Because we kind of need their armies. Because this episode, guys... So, guys, this is what I'm planning. It's either going to be this episode or next episode. We are basically going to go to war with with our next-door neighbors of Normandy and Denmark. I don't know if it's going to be this episode or next episode. But one of those two, we're going to do it. I, I mean, we are legitly going to do it. You don't have enough military power. You need 400. Okay. Whatever. Whatevs. Not too, too important. But once I get that national mob... Okay. Let's get the embassies... We can now build an embassy. Really? Did I already... Oh, shoot. The Latin... Nah, I think I think these guys are better, honestly, to be honest. Like, people will argue, but I think those guys are better. <laughs> like, it's saying I could switch right now, and I think I could, but I don't think I will. So, Byzantine Flux and supporting the floor train. Yeah, I did all those things. All for the sake of peace. Okay, so... And then all these other claim wars I'm doing is all for the sake of I want to go to war with these people really badly. I can't yet do it. I'm going to have to wait for them to make a mistake again. Which shouldn't be too long. I mean, Denmark has to have a fuse. They have to. I mean, every country has a fuse. So they have to have one too. And right now we are doing some more coring events. I mean, we, I think a colony actually just... We don't have an... Yes! Oh my goodness, we finally did it everyone, this is finally a part of ours, so I'm going to instantly try to convert this, seriously, we need to convert that immediately, seriously, just immediately, that, that shamanist country, we need to destroy the rest of the shamans in our culture, because they just, they don't even like, legitimately, they don't really like, go into the master grand plan of things, so they really need to be destroyed, I mean, Shaman, like, it's, it, this is all weird, it's like, Catholic, 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 Shamanist. Orthodox, Orthodox, sh Catholic, Shamanist. Like, they are like the out of place people right here, and we need to get them out of here. Lollard is starting to take over though. That's really weird. That's really quite weird. Okay, auto saves. Auto save. Okay. Uh, I think we're getting, by the way, I think we've almost got the maximum amount of ignore demands, or... Ignore the man's. Kidding me? 
I don't care about my prestige. Why? I don't care about the Pope. I don't care about my propel, my propel influence. I mean, I'm not ever going to be using it. It's just basically, I'm, as soon as I can, I'm going to become, uh, what is it called? Not Catholic, but, uh, Protestant. Yeah, that's what I meant. As soon as I can, I'm going to become Protestant because being of the, being of the Catholic religion is actually pretty much a hindrance to my ultimate plan. Okay, which should be going into effect here very, very soon. Now that I've gotten a little bit better backbone with some of these other countries. Missionaries are doing really well. Good job, guys. Good job. Like, that is ri Wow, you guys are really doing well. That is way faster than converting Never. Never took a while to reconvert, but you guys are finally finished, and you guys are Catholic. You guys are all fine. Over here... You're shamanist. Over here, I'm probably gonna have to convert some orthodox colonies, but that's fine. I can deal with or- Woohoo! Copper! Oh my goodness, that is awesome! Any other valuable colonies that could be potentially useful? Uh, that's getting destroyed. Can't really tell on these colonies, but I bet there is more. Because there definitely must be more. But I don't really- we'll never be able to see it right now, because right now I'm just looking at it all greedily. Okay, we got another colony just converted. No, wait, not yet. We're so close. Look at that, guys. We're so close. Sammy and these are almost so close to becoming fully our culture. Over here, these guys are almost completely and utterly converted, which was a very good, good step towards statehood. I mean, now that they're going to be converted, that will... Yay! Conversion! Conversion! Okay. Now, please transfer to my culture because I will never accept the Sami culture at all. Like, there, there's, like, legitimately, there will be no... I don't think there is any other Sami culture around. Okay, there's a gigantic part of Sami right here, but I'm basically... I'm probably just going to eradicate all of it. <laughs> this sounds terrible, but I'm probably going to eradicate every last Sami that ever lived. Because they... I, I don't think they fit into my grand scheme of Finland, so... Yeah, sorry guys, you guys are gone. And over here, this is the one Finland land. In Finland, I converted fin the Finnish, the Finland, the actual province of Finland to Swedish. And the rest of the province around Finland is Finnish. That's sad. Alright, over here, Norwegians, the generality. Uh, Polish, Saxon, Bavaria. I mean, that's a very clumped up group. Complications right there. The Violent, Danish. King, our prestige, our self-sustaining, yay. Oh man, and... Saxons, well, yeah. All those kind of things. I accepted peace. Yes, I did. Alright. And I think, yes, the colonies are finally done. So now we can start doing our conversions. Let's start doing our conversions. Alright, because we don't need Orthodox. We honestly don't. Catholic, Catholic is what the uh, religion is. We are converting the culture. Cultural conversion is happening pretty fast, actually. No, it's not happening completely, utterly, super duper fast, but it's happening pretty fast, and that is good. That is good right there. So you guys about done with the war? Good. Okay. So, I think it's almost time. As you guys know, it's almost time. Like, I'm, I'm feeling it now. We are getting really close to about time to just... Go to the battlefield and do what we need to. So let me see. Can I get this? Alright. Can give all these force allowing them to march more faster. I like to get national... Uh, yeah, I can't get it yet. I have to get attacked, don't I? And then this says I could transfer armies. I'm not going to yet. So I don't think it's really important. Alright. Anyways, how are we doing on attack still? Because like, I said I was ahead last time, but how am I doing now? I'm still ahead! Really? 644. Let's see. Every other country, 434. Wow, we are doing really good. 545. Bringing these just more balance in us. It's not because they're ahead. Because Steel, wow, 334. Ottoman. Wow, the Ottomans kind of scare me now. They have a 446. Basically, what we have. Sweden. Sweden's pulling ahead of everyone. And Denmark and Norway should be scared. <laughs> Also, the poor man elected Clement, uh, yeah. 
Somebody new as a pope. Good job, Burgundy. You now control the, the, the Holy Seal. Good job. Good job. Okay. Can't yet do... Why does it... Uh, hate that. Just hate that so much. Well, we're going to soon get our first... You know, stuff to where we can build some constables and stuff like that, which is going to be nice. My army is almost completely healed. It's about 14k troops, which I'm going to have to use very, very well. Which, let me see, how many of my allies would join me in a war against these guys? I would bet a lot. Because I don't think they do like these guys a lot. So I would reconquest, I would use this to reconquest Galane. Well, go and let's see how many of my allies would join in. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see. Is anyone tied up in anything? Nope. You know what, guys? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, I'm just hoping that all my allies will join in. Let's see. Did everyone join in? Yes, everyone did join in. So we basically have I have all these claims I can go and go take over these guys for um hopefully we all have militaristic access do I have to get military act do I have to give them military access or do they instantly have it because they already have a land border to me so they don't need that you have no diplo request to to their territory and ports um ask for fleet based rides no that's all I want and back to supporting the army Back to supporting the fleet, and let's do this. So, let's see with uh, with the combined forces. By the way, I'm probably this is probably now not. I'm probably not going to end this episode. It's probably either going to be a cut episode or a divide episode or something like that. But we're not ending this. So basically, guys, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go try wherever the uh, actual Scandinavian, I mean not Scandinavian, Denmarkian army is. We're just going to go crush them. That's our goal. Okay, until we get our massive friends, allies, comrades in arms, I mean, we're gonna, we'll help a little bit. I mean, with all of our fleet, we gotta help just a little bit. Okay, good. There we go. Now, let's get back in here. Let's get back in our only port, because that's gonna be nice. So, basically, what I'm thinking is that the Teutonic Order will keep the, uh, Scandinavian troops at bay. Oh my goodness, I did not expect that one. Well, let's see what happens with this battle. Oi, we are losing. No, wait, we're winning. Oh, no, we're losing. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. We lost. We lost severely bad. Okay, you guys retreat. Um, Why are we going right towards the... Oh, my goodness, where did Novgorod's troops come from? Oh, good, we just... We just, like... Okay, that's... Finally, that glitch actually, paid, actually helped me out for once. Yes! Oh, that's so nice. Okay, and somehow, why are you guys going all the way to Finland? I don't get that. Since you guys have a national mo mobilizer, okay, so they're all attacking. Ooh, okay, so I let them group up. That's bad. Okay, I can see Lithuanians sending their armies here very soon. That's good. It's a good sign. Um. Uh. It seems like the Teutonic Order is keeping the uh, Denmark from moving out any more troops. Kind of hard now, though, because we already, like, moved back our troops. Um, when, I think... Oh, man, why'd you guys take the very long way around my land? Press the issue, or... You know what? Settle for loose stability for once. I don't really want to do any more war goals. Oh, I see what the... Teutonic Order, why are you guys... Ah. I need you guys kind of, I need, kind of need you guys, just saying, just saying, I kind of need you guys in this war right now, now. Alright, so what I'm going to do is probably go crush on the little tiny army. Because right now both the, this is base. that's basically the entire Norwegian and Denmarkian army right here on my land. Abolished attacks. Sure, I'll lose that much money. We have gained a core province. Hallelujah. Okay. So, let's see. This become a core. Let's get a core right here. Because we need to keep coring all these places. That way, if something does bad happen... Yeah, let's go... Wait, just... This is my land. I should be able to control it if I want to. Okay. But I hope... 
what I'm hoping guys is that I hope the Teutonic Order will be able to get its butt into gear because we're going to need him in this war I kind of counted on them to kind of help me out okay you guys quickly go this way and what we're going to do is we're basically going to combine with the uh, Polish army and we're going to make sure that we can help them out in any way possible okay you guys go across yeah they went the long way went the very very easy way so yeah we're just basically going to join up with the Polish army I keep saying Polish it's actually the Lithuanian army the Lithuanian army we're going to group up with them and we're going to do our best to help them out in their conquest And uh, choose, oh, okay. We receive it. Uh, yeah, we we can accept that from you guys. I I don't even know why you guys were allied with the worst people ever. You guys didn't really have to do that. Now that the armies are now turned aside, now I should get like a flood. <laughs> Denmark, enjoy your victory while you can. I have tons of people coming after you tons and I don't even care like now we have now I feel like we have a good sized army just about to go march and rain destruction on them I'm gonna build some more stuff over here because I can I'm gonna try to keep about 53 in my bank right now alright let's get back to the war okay now, I'm still unsure about this whole, like, conquest thing. I'm hoping that it's... I don't have to be the one that controls it. I'm hoping that my claim will be just enough for them to be like, Yeah, this is his, and I'm just doing it for him, and not for anyone else. We can do some new technology. Good. Let's get some new technology right about now. Ah, oh, dang it. Too many cowards. Ah, oh, come on. Kind of needed all that manpower. Dang it. Why do our country have to be full of cowards? Oi, that kind of stinks. Okay. Um, 22 men. Denmark, Norway, and Hodenstein. Like I said, this is main, This is the entire army. The problem is, though, look at this army that's moving down. Wow. Let me just make sure that we're all still in this war. Yeah, basically, look at that army moving down to go kill them. I mean... There's 22,000, but we just, we, if I combined, if we combine all the armies right about there, we'd basically have enough. Speaking of which, we have to do some more. We're still converting that province. Coin that province. And that is completely Samadhi Swedish. That is good. We're almost done eradicating a culture. Okay, you guys are almost done. Wow, we almost, we must, that, that's weird. We are almost done with these guys, and they're still, wow. Just, wow. It would not be a smart idea to also siege down these guys. Like, it would not be a smart idea. So let's see. These guys are coming in to come help. That's good. No, I think they might actually move to the actual capital. That I do not mind, because I can't actually do anything at the actual capital. So they can take as much as they want. Okay, and this army, I'm hoping what will happen is that they will disperse. So then I can just go after individual little tiny strands. So I can, I can just go kill them individually okay um, but they are having some of them move over there let's see how are they moving in we have a good majority of them just kind of moving wherever which is good this they're being very creative about how they call good stuff which is fine by me you have a new investor in tech it's good administration power now I can build temples and constables and things like that almost there come on guys conquer Conquer. Okay. Uh, no, that's not. It's a two to one ratio. I can see that, but it's not. Dang it. Where are the rebels? Where are the bloody rebels? Oh, over here in the unparliament. I did not convert. I'll deal with them eventually. I deal with all these guys first, and then we'll start dealing with the actual threats. Okay. Forty-two percent chance. Come on, that's a forty-two percent chance. Make it fall already. Make it rain. Make it rain, make it rain, make it rain. Each time a siege phase happens, a die. Wonderful. The die is then added. Yeah, okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. There's a chance of 42% chance they surrender. Okay, those guys got a little bit lucky. 
56% chance these guys will surrender. Come on. Just surrender. Surrender. Quickly. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm gonna wait. How the heck did these guys not surrender? Like, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna go send my men to go help. A revolt, a revolt. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go deal with all these revolts in a second. Let me go help these guys. Okay, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I think we just crippled the uh, Swedish army. Ah, oh, dang. Never mind. Yes! Oh, yeah. It was all due to the Swedish. It was all due to the Swedish. There was no one else that helped him in that siege. 63, really? Those guys are still not falling? Okay. Go down to Vandenholm. Please follow them. We have to kill all these guys. Like, seriously. We have to kill all of them. Let's see. Now, let's figure this out. Could I... If it was... Okay. So we just figured it out, guys. Uh, you cannot... If your, other, if your friends conquered the province, you cannot do that. Okay, okay. So now I know. Swedish vassal. Total cost... Too great. 204. Wait. Is Denmark not part of the Union anymore? Wait, 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 guys, sorry. So I have to check out Denmark's political standings for a second. Oh, they're only allied with Denmark right now. Hmm. What that means, though, is since they're not in a personal union anymore... Hmm. What that means is I could get a separate piece with them. Normandy. Could I? Is going to allow me? Probably not, actually, now that I think about it. So, let's just get Gotland, Zealand. Yeah, I'm gonna get, this is what I think I'm gonna get. These three provinces in this war. Oh my goodness, that has a lot of rebels. Okay. Gonna have to wait for them to spread out, because that's a lot of rebels. That has a ton of rebels. Okay. Uh, this is basically what I want in this war. These three provinces should be able to max out my uh, thing. And then eventually, eventually I will get to the war with Skelane. But right now, we need to kind of take it easy, so... These guys have no morale. I should be able to just crush them. Seriously, just crush them. There we go. There's the crushiness. Go down. Go down, kill them. Kill all the rest of these men. Ah, dang, I'm losing a lot of my own men too. But then once they lose all their men, Oh man, I hate when I lose all my inf all my manpower. Siege is over. Just kill the rest of these guys. Yep, kill the rest of these guys. Kill the rest of these guys. Yep. Okay, and all my friends. Did my friends take care of some of these rebels? Yeah, they did. Good job, guys. Now I'm gonna have to go take care of a bigger rebel band. Oh, uh, not. A rebel band, but thank you guys for taking care as much as you could. Okay. Now look. Give me what I want and we will have a good day. You guys will give me everything I want. Okay. Alright, I want you to revoke the cause on Sleswick. Alright, cancel vassals. No. Give me as much gold as you will give me. Okay.
There we go, guys. So, we have now expanded and basically conquered Gotland. Now have another island. I hate islands because they always seem to rebel against me in the end and it becomes a deep, deep problem. But we finally got these guys. We got a new place of interest. It's a level 2 fort even. This is this is pretty nice. And we're just starting to kick this, the Denmarks out of our land. So I want to thank you guys for watching this. And we'll see you guys forever next time.